Hi, welcome. Uh, thanks for joining me for another episode of Real to Reels. Today I'd like to talk to you about the five most common mistakes that I see sellers make when staging their own home. I'm going to jump right into it so this video is not too long. Uh, number five is uh, underestimating the value of staging. I regularly see homes that uh, are increased in value fifty to hundred thousand dollars by staging. When we do staging, we're not always spending a lot of money to make a lot of money. A lot of times it's, it's related to tasks uh, that, or, or maintenance, that sort of thing. Real basic things that do, are not very expensive that have a dramatic increase in the value of the home. Number four is picking their own colors. I would strongly suggest getting your stager involved early and getting your agent involved early, especially because a lot of agents, myself included, pay for staging. Get them involved early, especially if you know you're gonna have to do some painting, either interior or exterior. My, my stager will uh, do a color consult as included as part of the process. Um, and that can, one, it takes some of the brain damage out of it, and two, it makes sure that we get it done right. Uh, the third most common mistake that uh, people make when staging their own homes is uh, picking fixtures or furniture for the purpose of staging. We will almost never ask you to do that. And in fact, both me and my stager would much rather bring in as much furniture as possible when it comes time to stage your house. Uh, it is a lot easier for us to stage a vacant home than to stage a home that already has fixtures and furnishings in it. That being said, sometimes people live in their home even while going through the staging process, we can integrate those uh, stagers furnishings with your own. If you have pets, that becomes a little bit more of a challenge, but there's even workarounds for that. So get, once again, get your stager involved early, get your agent involved early when you're deciding to get your house ready for the market and they can help save you from making mistakes like that. Uh, the second most common uh, issue I see with sellers staging their own home is that a lot of times they will complete projects that were really bothering them. Uh, things about the home they always wanted to get done but they never completed it. Um, the biggest issue I see with that is that they're usually completing projects that uh, are one of their pet peeves. And they, they're, they're spending a lot of time and money on something that is not really going to increase the value of the home because it's not something that may it may be something that won't bother most people or it may not be that noticeable. Uh, so get your get the stager in there early, get the agent in there early, and I think you may find that certain things that you thought you were going to have to do you don't have to do. Instead, we have a huge list of things that you didn't think you had to do that you were going to ask you to do instead. Um, and and the goal with staging is always to create a return of 200, 300, 400 percent return on any money you spend or any effort you put into it. Um, the number one most common mistake that I see sellers make when they're preparing their own home for the market is, and this has to do with the Dunning-Kruger effect, it is people are biased against their own intelligence and the result is that and myself included, we all do it, we tend to overestimate our own abilities and so uh, the net result of that is a lot of times um, a seller will prepare their house for the market and then we will come in for a pre-staging consult and that seller will be completely deflated. They've spent hours and hours and hours working on the house. They thought they knew what they were doing. They did a lot of research online. You know, They didn't want to be embarrassed when the real estate agent and the stager showed up, so they wanted to get everything done ahead of time so that you know they could make the best first impression on us, which we don't care. We want you to get maximum dollar for your house and we want your house to sell quickly. We're not really invested in like judging you or worrying about what kind of projects you need to do or anything like that. We much rather get involved early, get you a great result and get your house sold for as much po money possible in as short amount of time possible. Uh, and yeah, I think that's all I have for staging uh, and the five most common mistakes that sellers make. Thank you very much for listening. Have a great day.